In this problem, we're told an archer shoots an arrow loaded to a 3 times 10 to the 2 gram target that is sliding in her direction at a speed of 2.5 meters per second on a smooth, slippery surface. The 22.5 gram arrow is shot with a speed of 35 meters per second and passes through the target, which is stopped by the impact. What is the speed of the arrow after passing through the target? So this is basically what's going on, right? So this is going to be what happens before and what happens after. So we have this person, they're going to shoot an arrow, right? Or they have it in their hands. And then we have this target, right? That's sliding towards them 2.5 meters per second. And we're given the mass of the arrow and uh, the target. Right? And so after, the arrow is going to fly through the air, pass through the target. The target's going to be stopped, right? Move at zero meters per second. And we're trying to find the velocity of the arrow afterwards. Right? So this is basically what we're trying to solve for. We're trying to solve for this V right here. And so how do we do that? So the way we're going to do it is by using the laws of conservation of momentum, which basically tells us the momentum of two objects right, before has to be equal to the momentum after. Right? And so we know momentum equals mv. Right? So the two objects in this case are the arrow and the target. Right, so what basically you just want to write out this formula m1v1 plus m2v2 is equal to m1v1 final plus m2v2 final. Okay, so when I say two, I'm referring to the target, and when I say one, I'm referring to the arrow. So this is basically the momentum before, right? The momentum of the arrow before, the momentum of the target before, this is the momentum of the arrow after, and this is the momentum of the target after. Right, so basically we want to just solve for each of these variables when that happens, right? Because we know their momentums have to be equal. So we can just solve for basically one of the variables. And so notice we're trying to find the velocity of our arrow afterwards. And so one is the arrow. So we're trying to find v1 final. That's what we're solving for. So basically, you want to find this, and let's just plug in the rest. So m1 and, uh, is going to stay constant, right? So the mass of the arrow, which is 22.5 grams. And so 22.5 grams is the same thing as 0 0.00, or sorry, 0 0.0225 kilograms, because you need this to be in kilograms when you solve. v1 final is the speed of the arrow, right, when it's shot, right, which is 35 right, because this is before, m2, so this is going to be the mass of the target, which is 300 grams, which is the same thing as 0.3 kilograms, times v2. And so v2 is 2.5 meters per second, right, but notice it's going this way. So it's to the left, therefore we have to say it's negative, right, because we say the left's negative and the right's positive. That's why this number, 35, is positive because it's going to the right, and this is negative, right? So that's the momentum of both objects before. Now we need to find the momentum of the objects after. So m1 is the mass of the arrow, right, which is the same. It's still 0.0225 times the velocity of it after, which is what we're trying to solve for. So we just leave it, plus m2 v2 final. So the mass of the target is 0.3. But notice v2 final is the speed of the target after, right? which is 0. So it's just multiplying by 0, which basically just stays the same. right? It just becomes 0. Anything times 0 is 0. So if we want to find v1 final, we just divide by 0 0.0225. 0 0.0225. Yeah, go ahead and do this. So 0 0.0225 times 35 plus 0.3 times minus 2.5, and then divide by 0 0.0225. And you'll get V1 final, which is 1.6666 and so on. You can round to 1.67, and then it's going to be meters per second, right? Because it's velocity. And so keep in mind, this is going to be the velocity of the arrow. So VA or whatever, velocity of the arrow, just keep that in mind after, right, after it went through the target. But yeah, so 1.67 meters per second, that's going to be your answer to this problem. And hopefully you found this useful.